If you want to 10x your conversion with lead generation, 10x your subscribers, the views you're getting, and the amount of clients that you're getting, there is one simple thing that you can do, which genuinely completely changed the trajectory of my business, allowed me to go from making six figures to multiple seven figures per year, and I'm going to break it down for you today. This is something nobody talks about, and I'm actually going to pull up my iPad here and do a bit of an illustration because I know that if you understand this one simple concept and apply it to every aspect of your business, your business will skyrocket this year. So what I want to do is break down this principle for you that again, I don't see anybody talking about so that you can start to take every single thing you do to a completely different level with one simple switch. What's up guys? My name is Mike Schrober, the XP Realty. I train thousands of agents every year to scale the business the modern way. If you want to know more about things like this, just feel free to check the links in the description where you can learn more about partnering with me. But I want to dive into this one simple concept because it is so easy easy, but nobody talks about it, which is why so many agents feel like they hit a plateau or they're spinning their tires or they're spending money on ads and not getting any conversions and hot leads. They are putting out content, but nobody's reaching out to them. They're being consistent and still not getting business coming directly to them. And it's all because of this one thing. So let me pull up my iPad and let's walk through this together. But I'm going to break down a couple of different examples. One for paid ads on lead generation, one on organic content like videos on different platforms. But this simple concept applies to absolutely every aspect of your business. So let's start with lead generation. And let me explain this principle first, which is the principle of being unbiased. Because what you want to do is put yourself in the consumer's shoes. All too many times, agents think that because they are doing something, because they know they are valuable, that everything they do must be valuable, that everybody should perceive it as equally as valuable as they intend for it to be. But as you start to view things through an unbiased lens, this is going to allow you to put yourself in the shoes of the consumer. And it starts to give you this ability to audit what you're doing to guarantee it will succeed before you even spend money on it or publish it to the world. So let's look at an ad, for example. We'll look at Facebook ads. So let's say we've got this ad here. We've got this Facebook ad. And then what you've got is you've got, you know, some sort of graphic here, maybe it's a graphic or a video, then you've got a call to action, you've got some sort of, you know, headline here. And this is going to be your Facebook ad. So what happens is a lot of times people put out things that are just obvious, free home evaluations or anything like that, or a new listing, which is fine. So what I want you to do is when you're going to be running an ad, take off your realtor hat, assume that you did not know who you were, the value you provide, the quality that you do, the experience that you have, you don't know anything about yourself. The question that you have to ask yourself is if this ad landed in front of me and I was a member of the general public, would I click on this ad right here? And then would I go so far as to put in my name, email and phone number, because this is so valuable that I know that an agent is going to reach out to me. But what it's shown here is so valuable that I'm willing to put in my contact information, knowing somebody will reach out to me because I care so much about what is here. So for me, what happened in the beginning is I was running ads about very generic stuff, very much like every agent. But then as I started to run ads about new developments, pre-construction, where I was the first person to run an ad, nobody else had access to this. Nobody, there was no websites, there was no access anywhere else except for me. My lead conversion skyrocketed because if I was looking to potentially buy a property and this ad laying in front of me was the first time I saw it and there's no other way that I could get this information, then this now becomes inherently exceptionally valuable where I am willing to put my contact information because I do want this information. So as you start to do this litmus test before you click publish on an ad, ask yourself the question, if you did not know who you were, what you do or the service you provide, is what you're about to run as an ad so valuable that you would click on it yourself and you would be willing to put your contact information now below. Now this goes to the next thing, which is going to be something like YouTube videos. There's a couple different examples here. So the first thing that I look at whenever I'm doing a YouTube video is I actually start to look at the thumbnails. So what I do is I do a search and I will do a search about, you know, something like this. And maybe the search is like moving to Denver. 
And this is the search. This is what I want to rank for. So what I will do is if my video is going to be moving to Denver, I will type that into YouTube. And then what I will do is the following two different tests. I will now look at the top three ranking thumbnails. This is one, two, three in their current positions ranking on YouTube. And then what I will do is I will put mine beside each and every one of them. And I would say unbiasedly, if I did not know who I was, the value that's in the video, because again, people haven't clicked on the video yet, they're just seeing the thumbnail. Would I unbiasedly actually click on my own thumbnail versus the one that's currently ranking number one? Now we come down here, I put it beside the second thumbnail. Would I click on it versus the one that's currently ranking number two? And then the final question is you put it beside, you know, the last ranking thumbnail, part number three, would you click on your thumbnail versus the one that's currently ranking number three? And what you'll see a lot of the times is that you'll put your thumbnail beside the top three ranking ones for the search subject in your market. And number one, number two, and number three are usually better than yours. So how can you expect the average person to click on yours if you would even click on the ones that are top three, because you know unbiasedly that those thumbnails are designed better, they're more engaging, they're more enticing, and they make you want to click a little bit more. That goes on to the next aspect of it, which is I will do that same search, so we do the search up here for, you know, moving to Denver. And then what I do is I look at the top three and I watch each and every one of them start to finish. And then what I will do is I will go back through and I will watch my own video. And I will say, okay, after watching these top three videos were there's actually more engaging, more entertaining, more valuable than mine. And oftentimes when I was struggling to rank in the beginning, I was finding that, well, damn, this one actually was a lot more educational, entertaining and engaging than mine. Damn, this one was really cool and it was more short, concise to the point than mine. Well, this one, the editing was incredible and I actually really did enjoy that. And then you go watch mine and say, well, if, if I wouldn't actually enjoy watching my own video more than these, how can I expect anybody else to enjoy them more than mine? And you can do this with the thumbnail. So that's why what happens when you want to start to improve your content, it becomes very easy because before you even publish it, you can start to actually do these litmus tests and guarantee that yours will do better. Because if we come up here and we look at this and say, okay, I watched all three of these videos and then I watched mine. Well, shoot, mine actually is way better than all of these unbiasedly. I don't know you threw a hole in the wall, but if I just saw this video, it actually is way better. Well, now check number one. And if I came back here and said, okay, well, I actually would click on number one versus this one. I would click on mine versus number two. I would click on mine versus number three. Well, now you've got a thumbnail that everybody would click on. You've got a video that more people are going to enjoy watching. It's almost impossible for your video not to perform better than the top three that are ranking, meaning yours should rank one, two, or three. So it allows you to have control of your content. And the last example that I want to give to you is going to be related to organic content on things like TikTok or Instagram. So let's say you've got, you know, your short form video here, you've got a video, and then you've got the, you know, like button here, you've got the heart button here, you've got a comment here, and then you've got all these different engagements down here and you've got your video right here. So the question that you have to ask yourself as well is let's say this video landed in front of you. You did not know who created it because the thing is, is that as you want to grow your following, you have to understand that you want people who do not know you to find you but you're assuming that people know you. So there's, you're assuming that they know you're valuable. You know, they know your experience, they know your quality work, but the whole goal is to get more followers and get more engagement from people who don't know you new people. So you have to make that assumption that, okay, let's say this post that you're just about to make today, maybe it's about a buyer's tip, seller's tip, property tour, something you're about to make this post today. Ask yourself if this post landed in front of you, would you go so far as to like it? Would you go so far as to write a comment on it? And would you go so far as to click on their profile picture 
and then go follow them because you found it so valuable and so entertaining or so interesting that you want to see more from this person. And what you'll see oftentimes is that on your own video, you would not like it. Maybe you would like it, that's a pretty easy one, but you probably wouldn't go through the effort of commenting on it and you probably wouldn't actually click on your own profile and follow you after looking at the other content that's on there. So how can you expect other people to do that if you wouldn't do that? So ultimately it becomes a very simple principle where all that you need to do in order to drastically increase your conversion rate and the engagement rate on your content is to think unbiasedly, to think from the consumer's perspective. And once you can start going through your content and realizing, I would like that, I would comment on that and put my two cents in, I would follow that person because that was really cool and I wanna see more. I would click on that thumbnail. I do love that video more. I, I want to subscribe to their channel, maybe even reach out to them. Or that ad, I've never seen that information before. I want to know more about that. I would click on that. I'm okay if I have to put my information in to get the value behind that. That is when your business will change. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. This is the one simple trick that completely changed the trajectory of my business and I hope it changes yours.